Hello beautiful Gemini, how are you today? Thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate you for coming back and my name is Eric and today I'm going to pull the advice from the universe for you. This is going to be a general reading. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please consider like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. And then now let's see what's going on and what messages the universe has for beautiful Gemini. Uh, that is here to see what is the messages from the universe. Okay. I see your heart broken and something bothers you and then you don't see the opportunity that's in front of you. You don't see the castle, you don't see the water, you don't see the bridge and then you are just looking down and you don't, you don't even see the, you don't notice there are still two cops standing behind you, three cops in the front. Don't worry, just the, the life is like that. The life is challenge. And then it's not the end of the world, otherwise you weren't here. That's why it's the start of the world. Learn from the mistakes, learn from the sad feeling, learn from the hard feeling. And then uh, you have some ideas to make some changes in your life. And someone is moving or changing the household. I don't know what's going on. And spirits wants you to stay flexible at this time because that is the time to, after the heart broken, don't make a hard decision. Just be flexible, be patient, and then wait for the time, wait for the right time, and see, uh, review yourself and stand your ground and review yourself and take a deep breath and rebuild yourself toward the new future. It's like a, when the earth, earthquake happens, what happens, what the people do? Uh, first, they look for the damages. When the damage, they found the damages, then they start taking the, whatever is destroyed, take it out and then make a new plan and then they go rebuild the house. And then that's the same thing. Love is the same thing. When the love goes wrong and or something emotional happened, it could be uh, like a, a personal emotion or could be losing the job. It could be losing the uh, bankruptcy, foreclosure, uh, closing business, whatever it is. It's not the end of the world. Uh, then I had <laughs> few times, but I have, I, most of my life I've been uh, personal, like a uh, self-employed over 40 years and that during that 40 years I had few times ups and down big ones and then it wasn't in my hand it wasn't in my power I don't want to uh, say it wasn't my fault but the thing is there was a time that not me the whole world went through the disaster and that's why the time I I went down as well like, like so many people I lost everything, 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 everything. Five properties. Okay, uh, that's why. But I still am happy. I'm, I'm laughing. It happened about 13 years ago, 2008, 2010, and that was a disaster. That was the last one. Anyway, uh, my point is, I didn't sit and cry for a while. I was down, but I didn't sit and cry. I start rebuilding myself. I start rebuilding my mind, and then I start rebuilding the life. You know, just uh, starting over at the older age is very harder when you're younger. That's why when you, if you're younger and then something happened to you, get up, rebuild yourself, start from yourself, go to the gym, go eat healthy, sleep well, sleep early, uh, wake up early, exercise, go to the park, go to the run, go to uh, something, make yourself to... Uh, be a positive person and then start rebuilding your life. Whatever it is, just rebuild your life and then stand your ground and move forward. Don't worry about the things that happens here and there because that is the time that, you know, uh, you want a success, you have to work for it. And then, 
and you are hard working you are very hard working and then you just need to do a little bit self-confidence whatever you need is self-confidence and be be uh, good and fair to others as well that's why when you're fair and good not to blame the others for what happened in the life you're going to move forward you're going to have the success i see that your seeds are growing and you are going or you ha already have a good job or good uh, business or a uh, good financial situation and then i see you are moving toward your goal and that the place you are uh, now is a good place and there it is make sure you take advantage of it and take care of it and then be don't move until unless you find a better opportunities that's why secure your position i see that the uh, lots of ideas and thoughts are coming to your mind and then uh, you have uh, some idea thoughts that uh, make some changes in your life and then uh, somebody i see a movement i see uh, changing the uh, household changing the spirit wants you to stay flexible at this time you are very creative use your creativity and talent and to make necessary changes around your life uh, you may have some issues with the uh, lover or some uh, uh, some kind of the uh, emotional things and then uh, you're dealing with something that emotionally makes you sorry or disappointed that's why that uh, circle of the up and down uh, in your stomach is natural and then just uh, try to put it behind and forget about it by focusing on present and plan for the future and then uh, a spirit is saying time for move on I see the very high energy and then movement toward the new goal and to the new uh, future i see the knight of the wand it says the same thing that when you decide to move on and you have to focus on your skills that you have and use them to manifest your future you have you are focusing on change take a chance and face the challenges that and with the your spirit and your heart i see some kind of stability and uh, happiness that is coming toward you i see the hope and renewal and faith and balance and pleasure and happiness and uh, i see the kids it could be pregnancy it could be uh, marriage or uh, i see uh, finding love in your heart and then hope that take you to go toward the future no matter what you do always have faith and ask the spirit and universe to help you to move forward the most sometimes you have to do the inner calling and the uh, time is for solitude and then move to the new direction and time to find your own wisdom to go and challenge the world and for what the success and the uh, financial uh, success or the emotional success that you want to have your financials would be and your finances will improve when you decide to make some changes that uh, are critical uh, and, and it is necessary some movement in your life uh, you have to make a, uh, be focused on the present to be able to make those changes to move forward I see that uh, the inner calling inner voice and revival and the awakeness I see the moment of the truth and a spiritual awakening and then uh, you have to be honest with yourself and see what exactly do you want from your life and then what are you going to reach that one that's why 
making decision with the blind eye that's the worst thing and it just not doesn't work with the plans that you have doesn't work with the uh, dreams that you have if you want to have the good future stable uh, uh, property good foundation happiness and then celebration you have to work hard the opportunity is yours all the opportunities is yours be honest be fair and be hard work be fair to yourself be fair to others and make the opportunities that is happening that is in front of you that I feel you face those uh, good uh, uh, challenges and making the right decisions okay beautiful Gemini I hope this reading had some uh, messages and resonate with you if it does please consider like share and subscribe I see you in the next reading until then be happy healthy love yourself and love the others as well ciao